A bodybuilding competition is the end goal of months of prepping. It's when competitors get to their leanest point and are judged in front of a panel of judges. In competitive amateur and professional bodybuilding, bodybuilders appear in lineups doing specified poses and later perform individual routines in front of the judges. They are ranked based on criteria such as symmetry, muscularity, and conditioning. Bodybuilders prepare for com competitions through a combination of dehydration, fat loss, oils, and tanning, which makes their muscular definition more distinct. Binge eating disorder is an eating disorder characterized by recurrent episodes of eating large quantities of food in a short period of time. People who struggle with this eating disorder eat past the point of discomfort and eat in secret. Feelings of shame, embarrassment, lack of self-control, guilt, and depression are often associated with this disorder. Searching the hashtag PostCompBlues generates many results, including this girl, who is quoted saying in her caption, 2015 has been one of my favorite years yet, but I've undone all the hard work of the two years before. I really struggled after competing, and it's taken me almost a year to be mentally ready for the gym again. Competitors who prepare for these shows go through weeks of restrictive dieting. As a result, there is an increased preoccupation with food. Competitors often stockpile food leading up to the show and have elaborate lists of restaurants and foods they have been craving for weeks, which they plan to indulge in post-competition. These binges lead to rapid weight gain, anything from 5 pounds upwards towards 30 pounds in a matter of days. Following the weight gain, competitors often struggle with depression because they feel all their hard work leading to a competition has been thrown away. They may attempt to gain back control by restricting themselves again, but it often leads to more binges. The vicious cycle of binging and restricting can continue for a prolonged period of time. For me personally, I don't know if I regret competing or I just wish I had done it differently. If I had known what was going to come out of it, I don't know if I would have actually done it in the first place. After all five competitions, dieting took a very long time and the outcome was worse each time. I was hardcore dieting for five, five months and I basically was being starved on 500 calories a day and still working out hard with a lot of cardio. Right now, after, right after the night show, I stuffed my face with pumpkin spice Hershey Kisses that I had saved from a very long time, brownies and cookies as well, and all throughout the night, I ate a ton of sushi. I binged so much that night, and the day afterwards, it took me a very long time to gain back control, but I was still very unhappy with the way I looked. I prepared for my first bikini show by hiring a coach online. I dieted for 16 weeks, eating the same menu for four weeks at a time, and went to the gym twice a day, six days a week. Within 16 weeks, I went from 130 pounds to 120 pounds. My food cravings intensified with every week, and I struggled with binge eating episodes during prep. After my show, it was hard to even go four days without binging. In one month, I gained 15 pounds. Although my relationship with food improved over the next several months, I still struggled with binge eating and gained even more weight. Stepping on stage is something I'm proud of, but it is something I will never put myself through again. Overcoming binge eating is very difficult, and the only way to stop the binge restrict cycle is by stop dieting and creating a better relationship with food. If you're considering competing, you have to understand that there is a risk of developing an eating disorder if you don't go about your diet in a careful way. 
If you've struggled with negative body image issues before or eating disorders, we strongly advise that you do not go about competing as it will only reinforce these negative behaviors.